Hello guys, welcome back to another Fallout Shelter update video. So in this update video, we're going to be talking about the new Fallout Shelter 1.7 update. Now the 1.7 update isn't as big as the 1.6, which actually introduced quests, but it does have some new features that make the game more entertaining. Alright, so if you click on the quest tab, you can actually see the new features of this update. So right now we see some quests that we already had before this update. And if you continue to scroll to the left, you can actually see some new quests. For example, Search for Jobs in Jersey, which is 15 quests total. Signs from the Commonwealth, which is 7 quests total. And if you completely go all the way to the left, you can actually see some new quest types. For example, the Weekly Quest and the Limited Time Quest. Now these new quest types are self-explanatory. For example, the Weekly Quests are just like the Daily Quests, except that they happen weekly. And also the limited time quests are only available for a limited time. Now if you look at the limited time quests, I'm 2 out of 5, meaning I already did the first quest. So at the end of the video, I'll actually show you the first quest that I did, which was a limited time quest. But for right now, I'm actually going to show you another feature that's new to this update. So another feature that's new to this update is that you can actually skip quests now. So some quests have an X right at the corner of them, so if you click it, you can actually spend Nuka-Cola Quantums to skip that quest. Now I don't encourage people to skip quests because some quests have rewards like Nuka-Cola Quantum. So why would you skip a quest that has Nuka-Cola Quantum by using Nuka-Cola Quantum? So it doesn't make sense, so I encourage people not to skip quests, but if there's some that you don't have the requirements to meet, or that they're too tough for you, then yeah, you can skip them. So that's just a little new feature in this new update. But right now, I'm actually gonna show you the first quest that I actually did, which was a limited time quest. So the first quest that we're gonna be doing is called Bottle Cap Blues, which is the first limited time quest. So I recorded this gameplay earlier, so right now I'm gonna show you the gameplay. All right, so we're gonna be doing the new quest line that's called Nab from Nuka Cola World. So I'm pretty sure that's the Nuka-Cola world that's going to be in the new Fallout Shelter 4 DLC. So Nab from Nuka-Cola world is a quest line that has 5 quests total. So right now we're doing the first quest which is called Bottle Cap Blues. So right now we're just checking out the layout of this building. And I also have some new vault dwellers. For example, we picked James from Fallout 3. We also picked Star Paladin Cross from Fallout 3 and Piper from Fallout 4. So I'm not going to be using the old Confessor Cromwell, Alistair Tenpenny, or Colonel Autumn this gameplay. So I forgot to actually read the description for this quest, but basically Bottle and Cappy, who are Nuka World mascots, have been kidnapped by raiders. So I'm pretty sure in like the last quest of this whole quest line, we're actually going to find Bottle and Cappy. Now before playing the new update, I actually read the update notes which basically said that once you find Bottle and Cappy, they actually visit your vault. Now once they visit your vault, they also come with gifts, but I don't know what gifts they bring. I'm pretty sure they're gonna bring like either caps or legendary junk or legendary weapons or legendary outfits. But ultimately, I don't know what gifts they bring because I haven't finished all the quests. But once I do finish the quest, I'll probably make like a separate video showing Bottle and Cappy like arriving at my vault and also what type of gifts they bring. So I'm gonna make a separate video for that. But for right now, we're at the first quest and we need four more to go after this one. So I'm also gonna be uploading all the other quests related to Bottle and Cappy. But for right now, I'm just gonna be showing you the first quest, which is Bottle Cap Blues. I also wanna mention that Bottle Cap Blues is a limited time quest, just like all the other quests for Bottle and Cappy. So in order to get Bottle and Cappy, you're going to have to finish all the limited time quests in the limited time. So I don't know what the limited time is. I don't know if it's a week or a month, but I'm pretty sure once that time is done, you're not going to be able to have Bottle and Cappy at your vault. So I'm going to encourage you guys, if you do have Fallout Shelter, to actually do these limited time quests because once they're gone, they're gone for good. So if you really want Bottle and Cappy to visit your vault, I'm going to actually encourage you to do all the 5 limited time quests. So there's only 5 total, so it's not going to be that hard. Also, I don't know if Bottle and Cappy only visit your vault once, or if they're permanently at your vault. Now the reason why I don't know is because I haven't actually finished all the quests, because right now I'm at the first quest, 
and I need four more quests in order to have Bottom Cappy visit my vault. But like I said, I'm gonna be uploading once I do have Bottom Cappy visit my vault. So if you don't have time to actually do these quests, I'm gonna actually upload the quest of me finding Bottom Cappy. But right now we're gonna actually go back into the gameplay because right now we actually met a stranger. So he says, better that than being stuck with those raiders from Nuka World. I snuck away from them just before they left. So we say, did the raiders have Bottom Cappy with them? And he says, yeah, they took Baron Cappy to Vault 177. Be careful. Alright guys, so I skipped ahead a little bit because all the rooms didn't have that good of loot. Or they only had enemies. So I just skipped all the boring stuff. So right now I'm actually going to show you the layout of this building. So I'm going to end the quest right here guys, I'm going to actually show you the loot that we got for this quest. So right now I'm going to actually back out of this quest to show you the loot that we got from this quest. So we got some junk and we also got some common weapons. And we didn't even get some bottle caps or we didn't even get any Nuka Cola Quantums. So right now I'm just going to recap the new features of this update. For example we got some weekly quests and we also got some limited time quests. And we also got the ability to actually skip quests now in exchange for Nuka Cola Quantums. So in order to skip a quest, you're going to have to give a certain amount of Nuka Cola Quantums. Also, if you have Fallout Shelter, I encourage you to do the limited time quests first because they're only there for a limited time. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end the video right here. So like the video if you did, I'd greatly appreciate it subscribe for more fallout shelter content so for example if you want to see all the bottle and cappy missions completed make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video